apparently like a complete and total blowout. It starts at nine o'clock. Three J forty two North. I turned it down. Okay. Uh, it starts at nine o'clock, so we are getting there. One point two miles. Take exit twelve. Seven. No. That was early. Three. In two miles, continue All right. to J forty two North. Sunday morning. We got up bright and early the day after the 4th of July. So if Paul and I look a little deflated, it's because we're very tired. We are partying kind of hard yesterday, and we... Not party. And, and we have total confirmation that his house is haunted. The bed was shaking like the exorcist last night. No explanation No whatsoever. explanation. It wasn't the dogs. It wasn't us. Everybody else was asleep, so... Yeah. I don't even know. Today we are headed to Frankenstein Comics. Uh, it was the same webisode that we did South Jersey Geek Fest and Ontario Street Comics. Today he's having a what is it halfway to? It's Christmas? a it's it's a, it's a sidewalk sale sidewalk like Christ, sale. Christmas in July where July. all of his dollar books are three for a dollar today. It is well known across the board that Bill and Frankenstein his selection by far is one of the best in the entire area. You have to go through the boxes to find what you're looking for. They're not in order. Right. And he prices them really well. Yeah. Some of his $5 books are like, actually, they should be like $30 books. Very good. He does $1 bins, $2 bins, $5 bins, $10 bins. The selection in those bins is just Phenomenal. spectacular. Dude, we're going to kind of be in the area, so let's give it a shot. Let's go there, and I think we're just going to see where this good old-fashioned Sunday fun day takes us. We are on our way. Sorry. We are on our way to Wood Woodbury. Wood Woodbury. Woodbury. Wood Woodbury. Woodbury. I am so tired.
time we come to build, we end up with a, an extra long box. It's not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. Oh my gosh, it's so hot it's out there. So hot. Who would have thought it would be hot during the summertime? Mm -hmm. right? Bill from Frankenstein Comics puts on a Christmas in July type event where um, all of his dollar books are three for a dollar. All of his two dollar books now become a dollar. And uh, he's got yeah, a great Bill selection. is widely known for his appreciation of the hunt and he's been doing it for 30 some odd years now. So he's got a lot of time in the business. He doesn't have a single bit of ego with him. When we were here last time, Bill was at South Jersey Geek Fest. He wasn't here with us at the store. We came for his flash sale. Right, we came for his flash sale, so. And we left with a long box. Yeah. Well, guess what we did again this time? We left with another long box. We left box. with another long box. I th we didn't. Okay, so truth be told, we didn't fill said long box. We just a little bit further than half filled a long box with three for a dollar and one dollar comics, which are all great. I started kind of going a little heavy on uh, getting some Silver Surfer, which I haven't been doing a whole lot of. Tons of Hulk, Captain America. Hulk, Captain America. A got James some, Bond. Got some Wolverine. Got for Your the, Eyes Only number two. Got For Your Eyes Only number two. I only picked up one book that wasn't on the discount section. Bill gave us a good deal on Uncanny X-Men number 128. Right before the Dark Phoenix Saga, right now I need 129 and 130 to complete the Dark Phoenix Saga. Which so, is weird because we have not been able to find them. We have not been able to find we even, 129. Like, across them. It's not like we, we saw them, we couldn't afford them. It's right. like, we haven't even seen them. I haven't books. even found 129, which is the first Kitty Pride, and it's weird. It's a very strange phenomenon that we can't seem to lock these two books down, which is driving me nuts because I just want to finish a series. And yeah, this bar is so melted from sitting in the car. Great little event, all right in the parking lot to Frankenstein Comics. Does this every year. Right. We ran into uh, Jerry and his wife. Jerry and his wife from Retro Station. They were there. Tiki Tiki Board Games was there. You know, there were some cool people. So on the square, Comics had a booth set up, and they were selling their um, their books there. Um, Opposing Forces and Centrilia. Um, what? Centralia. Centralia. I can't pronounce things. So, the deal was, is if you bought a book, he would draw, Jay Taylor, would draw any figure you wanted for free. So I switched things up. I decided to not be very predictable today, and I had him draw me up a badass Wolverine. That's a really cool... Really sick drawing. And we actually got a super cool deal at, because there is an unfinished Superman super, on the other super side. Superboy, yeah. How awesome is that? Yeah, it's really cool. He's a really good artist. It's a very awesome drawing. So if you if you want to find out more, it's on the Square Comics. It's a nice drawing, bub. Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> Wolverine's talking to you. Yeah, we met some people who had been watching our show. We met some... Ran into a couple people. fans here, which is awesome. Which is very awesome. It's still kind of weird having that sort of thing happen. But because it's just it's just it's us cool. with a camera, we don't really think anything of it. So so an um, an upcoming event is Chud. Chud, so comics here under, under a, a dollar. dollar. It's held at the Holiday Inn in Cherry Hill, and our advice to you, and advice to ourselves, is to get there an hour before it starts. It's August thirtieth. By all means, this episode should air way before that. Yeah. So if you can get there, definitely get there for that. Is there uh, what is what's going, going on? on? I don't know, maybe we should move, maybe we're in the middle of an actual war zone. Bill is the cornerstone of the entire South Jersey comic book world. He's a living legend. He's a got a heart of gold. Oh yeah. And we know that we've been here on this at this store before, but we wanted to capture this place with Bill here with an event while everybody was here. And it's just a great another little free uh, sodas, free water. Free sodas, free water. Nice little community event that people from all over the place are coming. We got here about quarter after nine. And there was still the and parking lot was full. The parking lot was already full. The people were already here and it was fifteen minutes after it started, which is really cool. So what do we give Bill's Christmas in July? Oh I mean <laughs> Just Bill. Fluff, just, yeah. yeah. Bill as a whole gets a big. Yeah. So. 
Hit anyone right that's heels. anyone that lives in South Jersey, if you've never been to Frankenstein, been to Frankenstein Comics, Frankenstein. come to this place and check this guy out. He's got just a love and a passion about him that just it's kind of contagious. I think we're gonna hop over to Pittman, New Jersey, to hit up a place called Crossroad Comics, which we've heard very good things about. It's been open less than a year, so we'll see what we we've get. heard. Yeah, when you, when you have a new spot that opens and you hear nothing but good things, it's probably good. It's probably going to be good. When when the cool people in the culture tell you that the place is good and they're trying really hard, then that leads you to believe that we're going to find some cool stuff. And they do comics and toys and collectibles as well, which is right up our alley. happy with our Sunday fun day. Yeah, Crossroad Comic and Comics and Collectibles in Pittman, New Jersey is an awesome spot. Dig this place For really sure. good. They've got lots of comics and they've even got a pretty solid selection of toys and collectibles. Like yeah. We got to talk to Liz, one of the co- Owners George uh, was not here. Unfortunately, we did not get to meet him. However, we hear he's a great guy, at least from what she says. And they've been together for a long time, so we could probably trust their word. We kind of went quality over quantity this time. Very much quality. We took care of quantity at Bills, so we kind of went a little bit quality this time. Yeah. So um, before Paul gets into his stuff, get into mine. <laughs> 
So I found Evil Dead number two, well, Evil, Evil Dead 2 number one, which is awesome because Paul and I really like the Evil Dead franchise. Like this, mm -hmm. this is going to be an awesome read. Newer book. Newer book. We don't buy a ton of newer books to be No, but when we do, it's going to be innocent. special stuff. Right. And then if you remember, at Apocalypse Comics, I bought Deadpool's Secret Wars number one. Well, I got number two. So I think I'm going to start this collection. Building up that little collection. And then... This wasn't a pricey book, but we haven't been able to find it. Paul's been looking for this for me. Secret Wars, the Deadpool one. This new uh, Marvel Secret Secret Wars is pretty awesome. I'm loving the, the covers on these that the replicate toys. the old action figures. So this one, I wanted to get Deadpool and his Secret Shield for her, obviously, because... Deadpool! So... Thank very you. happy to find out. You're very welcome. I love I you very much. That. So, so Paul got that was some cool, cool stuff. They so our, our camera battery uh, died on us. Had so. to switch it up back to the iPhone, back, back to, to the, the dark iPhone. ages. This camera that we got really is great. This thing, as I'm sure that you've been able to see, our production quality has gone Through up the roof. pretty significantly. But the battery dies quick, the, so we have to go buy some more batteries. All, we literally just deal with non stop, just oh, we just charged it this morning, but uh, yeah, battery's battery. already dying. Like, that, it, like, if there's one thing Let's that's just get it. I don't even want to talk about that thing, yeah, it's annoying. So, we moved on. iPhone camera is back up, as you're we saying before, kind of went quality over quantity, and by that, I mean this last book here. Uh, they have a great dollar section in there and then they have just a whole slew it's like a big horseshoe of back issues that yeah, range from 50 cents to five bucks to six bucks to eight bucks there were some really old fantastic four that i found in there whole bunch of things that we are collecting i'm actually pretty happy because a lot of the prices that i'm seeing in here are actually a few bucks less than uh what we've been finding these issues for in other spots so you can tell that the pricing seems like it's pretty good here so only picked up one issue of marvel comics presents wolverine now this is a very confusing run for those of you that don't know the it was supposed to originally be marvel comics presents and then it started off with wolverine and then after a little bit it kind of tapered out into featuring other mutants all over the place but then eventually around 39 or 40, whichever it may be, I can't remember the exact issue, it just basically transferred back over to Wolverine and Weapon X and it stayed there for the whole run. Very confusing issue, because when we were getting back into it and I was looking through my catalogs, it was like, which one is this? I don't remember, because it had been so long since so I'd had them. Bunch of $2 books, Lo fours. low 200 Fantastic Fours. I may or may not have one of those. If I do, then uh, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna put it in our one dollar charity bin and then i was finally able to check something off the list that i've been wanting to get we for quite a, a while whale. yeah kind of a whale for me i'm a i'm a huge fan of this issue spider-man 252 this i have found this suit. issue this is the first black suit appearance the alien symbiote i've been looking for this issue for quite a while everywhere we found it it was either the Very price was pricey. too high or the condition just wasn't what I was looking for. We found a, like a twenty or thirty dollar copy of this book, and it was just kind of it was kind of trashed. So this one perfect is this one has to be at least about a nine. I'm guessing it's an absolute gorgeous copy of it, and for an over thirty year old comic book that's actually worth a little bit of money, I was very pleased with this find. So. That made me happy, extremely happy, and I'm yeah. glad that we were able to finally get that for you. lock one of these bad boys down, kind of chalk it off the list. So, overall, yeah, this is a great spot. Yeah, it's, overall today in general. Yeah, if you do like the South Jersey, like Western South Jersey tour of comic books and toy shop, hit up this place because uh, this is about it's 15 solid. minutes away from Frankenstein. And if we hadn't have taken a wrong turn on the way here because my GPS is acting weird, we would have been here a few minutes early. So this is a great little area, this little spot in Pittman. It looks like kind of like any town USA, Main Street little spot. There's a little pharmacy here, a little pizza shop there. There's a place that's called Literally Just Cookies. Not literally, Can we go there? but it's called Just Cookies. Okay, give me, give me, give me. I would love to go there. I would love to go get some cookies. Yeah. So 
we're gonna, we're gonna sign off. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our Sunday fun day. Then we're gonna go home and feed our dogs. You thought I was gonna do Autobots, huh? Huh? Eh? Oh, gotcha. You should do Beyonce Autobots. Thank you. Get in there. Autobots, roll out.